Yeah, here comes the last part. I am sure about that because I have uh, talked about all the main points in this uh, uh, Sophia in uh, Islam and uh, Satanic verses. Uh, I want to point out uh, the word Sayyid. Sayyid is uh, like a prince. Sayyid is called uh, on these people who are um, uh, bloodline relatives to the Prophet Muhammad. And the, the main issue between Sunni Muslims and the Shia Muslims that Sunni Muslims wanted to have this uh, d democratic um, kind of uh, election to uh, to have a leader for the Islamic Khalifat or Islamic uh, Ummat, so the nation of Islam. And uh, the Shia Muslim, uh, me, uh, they have uh, a theory that uh, the Prophet didn't have children, but like uh, his daughter uh, will have a husband, and this husband will carry on the Muslim Khalifat. So this is the main problem between the Shia and the Muslim who will inherit the kingdom of Islam that was uh, expanding. It went to Spain and to India and parts of China and uh, even uh, Balkan, uh, you know, Serbia, even in Serbia, they went there and they were spreading. So uh, the, this problem with the, with, between the Shia and Muslims is still going on. So the word Sayyid, they call the Shia Muslims, the, the, these people who have the bloodline, they are relative to the Prophet Muhammad, they call Sayyid. And this Sayyid, the root is black from Sud, and we remember from the last video called uh, uh, Did Adam Rape His First Wife uh, Lilith? We know that Lilith is called Sud, and Sud is uh, uh, night, because Sud is the night, and uh, Adam is the day, and uh, uh, Lilith wa was his first wife, so she represented the, the night, that's why she was called Sud. And uh, even Ninlil, she became, uh, as the other name of Sud, Ninlil, she became the wife of Enlil, the son of the Most High, King Anu. So, I mean, uh, like King Anu, his children, like uh, Enlil, he's the god of the air. And uh, Enki, he's god of the water. And Ninhushak, uh, uh, his daughter, she's a god of uh, fertility. So, like, uh, King Anu is the heaven and uh, the earth. So, they don't need to have sex to have children. Because in Islam and in uh, Judaism, they believe if you say that Yahweh had a wife, they may do you harm and they may curse you and stuff like that and uh, because uh, they think God has not a wife because they think sex uh, is uh, something uh, sinful because they believe uh, Eve had sex with a serpent or uh, the serpent gave her sexual powers but sex is, uh, is, is a gift from God and the wise serpent or the eagle gave sex through the blood of the, uh, the tree of uh, knowledge and good of evil, so Eve could have sex on her own with her husband. So I don't think it is a sin to have sex with own husband or own wife. So this is the main problem for the Jews. They don't understand that uh, sex is a good thing, not a bad thing. Also the Muslims, they, they must understand it's not shameful. Although I point out, King Anu, he is not having sex like humans to create. He doesn't need to do that. So his parents, fresh water, salt water combined together, they created the gods, the heaven and the earth. 
the heaven is King Anu. So Prophet Muhammad later began to preach about uh, taking out all goddesses, re replace them with, uh, ma ma with Allah.